What's, what's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Man, I, I'm i sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to talk about this. I wasn't going to do this video, man. But I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't go without talking about this. Scrolling through YouTube, looking for college football video. And then I see this. Ryan Moody, college football gameplay 25, big frustrated with broken logic, quote unquote. All right. So I give it a shot, you know, because sometimes Ryan do right, be right about some of the stuff that he say. You know what I'm saying? But this is another instance where that this is that is not the case. And guys, I'm really wondering at this point, if y'all hear that going off, man, that's the discord chat because it's, it's on fire. It's on fire. We in the discord chatting it up as I speak. So I want to play through this. I'm going to play through each scenario. I'm going to let Ryan explain it how he wants to explain it. And then I'm going to show you what's the real. So guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Don't be a point dexter. Get out of the portal. All right. Get onto a five-star program. You know what I'm saying? And do what it do. Join the rest of the five stars, man. Let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and play through it. And let's go. From EA Sports, and this one quells all the oh, it's just the beta talk. This apparently is the real game, and they're sitting here playing it today. And Mike Vick actually gets mad at this game. Now we're going to go back. We're going to have a, an in-depth conversation. So many people like to talk poorly about my content, right? And that's okay. That's okay. You can you can say whatever you want about my opinion, but I'm always here to back it up with what actually happens. Now, I don't mind that. Returner's a little bit out of position here. In the past, you know, this would bounce through their legs, this would create some issues. Doesn't seem to do it now. Maybe, maybe that's been fixed. And I understand there's gonna be people that have the argument that say, hey Ryan, Vic was running the wrong way. Here's the problem though, you've got each side. I will say this up front. A lot of this can be attributed to stick skills. He is running the wrong way. You got a hole right here, you got a hole here. There was no reason for him to go this way, but that has nothing to do with what he's talking about. He circled two guys. Now, listen. Blockers to go out and do nothing. Right? They're literally just running out into the abyss. All right. He's saying, first of all, that this guy, number 65 and number 24, isn't doing anything. Okay? That is so not true. Now, when you show it in slow frame, it looks that way. This is a number 65, I guarantee you, is a lineman. He is running. Let me back it up a few frames. Number 65 is running towards this guy. This is clearly a more athletic guy. These two guys are clearly far more athletic than this guy right here. Okay. Just watch this side first, and then we'll go to this side. Side. He easily gets beat by the more athletic guy. He is looking to engage this guy. He gets beat by him because he's more Blockers athletic. Look at that. Now, he turns the sight to this guy. Do nothing. Right? They're literally just running out into the abyss, especially right here. Doesn't even block any. Look at this. At this point, the guy's in front of him. He can't engage him. So to say that this guy is doing nothing is a bunch of bull. Now, let's go look at the other guy on the other side because he said number 24 wasn't doing anything either. Watch 24 on this play. Maybe that's been fixed. And I understand. Look at this. He is he is aware of this guy right here. He is going at him. He sees his teammate right here fin to block this guy. Guess what happens next? Saying that he ain't doing nothing. And there's gonna be look, his teammate engages with this player. That is evident. Probably should be a block in the back. I don't know if it was called, I doubt it. But you can clearly see this player made contact with this player. So what does he do? Go to the next level. But notice this guy right here. Let's keep watching. People that have the argument that say, hey, Ryan, Vic was running the wrong way. All right, man. Here's keep... the problem, though. You've got each side. Look at this. Oh, look at this. He gets there before he does. Therefore, there's no reason for him to keep trying to block him. Maybe he could double team him, yes. But to say that this guy, number 24, did nothing is a bunch of bull. Ryan cried for physics-based animations or tackles in the game. Now, you actually have logic. He says broken logic. 
24 and 65 is not broken logic. 65 is a lot bigger guy. He's clearly going against more athletic guys who beat him inside because he is more 65. He's a lineman. This is not a skill guy. This is not a linebacker. This is not a corner. This is not a receiver. This is not a tight end. This is not a running back. He gets beat inside by a faster at more athletic guy. Number 24 is going to block this guy. Notices that his teammate blocks him. And what does he do? He goes to the next level like you're supposed to freaking do. Dude, I'm telling you, if number 24 had have blocked him along with this guy, Ryan would have been like, logically, the other guy's coming loose. Why didn't he go to him? Bro, come on, dog. Something is telling me, and I'm not saying the dude is wrong all the time, but at this point, you're reaching very, very far. You're clearly not understanding football on this. You're th It's right in your face that the guy is paying attention to the guy. His teammates blocks him, so he goes to the next guy. That's the same way if these were linemen and you were running the ball and it's a double team and you got a guy that's free and he goes to the next level. It's the same concept. His teammate blocked him. He went to the next level. His teammate got him. There's nobody to block at that point. Number 65 is trying. You can see him trying to block this guy. He beats him inside. And he's trying to say that Vic was frustrated by this. No, Vic was probably frustrated because he saw the hole that he could have went to. And he went the other way. Because if Vic, Vic no football. I don't think anybody would argue that. If you watch this play in this Rick Perry, you can clearly see that this guy right here is, is just beat. He's just beat. He's looking to engage that guy. He just beats him. Blockers to go out and that. do nothing. Beat him inside. Like they're literally just running out. He is trying to get this guy. What do you mean doing nothing? Look at this guy. He's engaged with him. 24 is probably going to try to engage with him too because there's nobody else to block. Into the abyss. Especially or he may get upfield like he should do because, hey, if Vic had a ran this way, guys, this is user error on Michael Vic. That's why Vic is frustrated because I guarantee you right now, Vic sees all of this open field. He sees that the blockers are sealed off. He's got two, he's got a lead blocker. This guy's running free. He's going to say, oh, he's not blocking nobody. He should be getting upfield because on kickoff return, you don't turn around to go back and block somebody. That's not football logic. Vic went the wrong way on this play. That's why he's frustrated. Right here. Doesn't even... But I have to digress. Block any player. Look at that. Bad stick skills on Vic. 65 tried to block. He got beat inside. 24. Look, he's, he's, he's running upfield. They're running upfield because Vic should have gone this way. That is why Vic is upset. And anybody that watched Vic play the game know that he wasn't doing very well. Make it make sense. Let's go to the next clip. And what is he doing? Why is he doing nothing? He didn't do nothing. These are the issues that create frustration. So in the comment section down below, did he do nothing? Let's watch it again. Let's watch 65. Where's 65? 65 is right here. This is an interior lineman. Past, you know, this would bounce through. This the is legs, crazy, bro. Create some issues. Doesn't seem to do it now. Maybe, maybe that's been. Goes finished. outside. Looks for a defender. Finds him. Say, hey, Ryan, finds a defender. Vic was running the wrong way. Here's the problem. Though. Finds a defender. Look, look. Finds a defender. Gets beat inside. Tries to get to that next defender. What happens? What happens? Go ahead and play it, Ryan. Beats him inside too. Come on, man. Why is he doing nothing? Unless there's All a right. quality game. Let's go to the next play. Next play, this is a pass play, okay? Let's see what he talks it. about. Doesn't really matter. So let's take a look. With that in mind, at this play right here, okay, we understand this is a passing play. This isn't a screen, all right? So let's very carefully dissect what happens here with this lineman who we're just going to happen to call, uh, I don't know, what should we call him? Let, you know what? Let's call him Clint. We're going to wonder what happens to Clint on this play, okay? So programming logic, going out to block. When there's no one there to block, what does the lineman do? In Madden, unfortunately, they continue to drop back into the pocket. Now, the issue here as we zoom in is he actually drops back to where the halfback is. Now, in, now I will say this. The lineman did drop back, and I can explain you why. It, now, if his argument was, why didn't the running back move out of the way of the lineman, I would be 100% with him, but that's not his, his logic. That's not his argument. Now, they kind of collide together. Find me this happening in real football. It happens all the time. You can go and look it up where linemen literally run in the backs, backs run in the linemen, quarterback falls down. It happens. 
Like, bro, do you not watch football? It has happened, especially at the collegiate level. It does happen. The back actually avoids the lineman because the lineman can't see him. Y'all want to know what the lineman was looking at while he was dropping back? Look at everybody else. Everybody else is here, too, because the quarterback is still dropping back. 61 started up here. There was nobody to block. What, what is he going to do? Just stand up here? Because I guarantee you from the angle that he's at, he can see this defensive end right here. That's getting leverage on this guy. He is the left guard. His job is to protect the quarterback's backside. I don't see an issue with that. I'm sorry, I don't. Look at it again. He starts up here. He blocks down on him. Ryan, I mean, I don't know if he just wants the guy to just stand there, but you can see this defensive end right here. Oh, programming Look logic. what he does. Going out to block. When there's no one there to block, what does the lineman do? In Madden, unfortunately, they continue to drop back into the pocket. If you're a guard and you see that there's nobody to block and you can see this end is about to beat your guy on the outside, you're going to drop back. Why? So you can pick that block up. I don't know. Lineman, any any now, lineman that actually play the game, let me know. Let me know because everybody else is back too. It could be a programming logic because his other guys are getting pushed back that the game just logically tells him to come back as well. If he had a stayed up here, what would have been the argument? What would Ryan have said? He's just standing there. He's not even blocking nobody. He's not even dropping back. But because he drops back, he ain't. he's not back any further than anybody else. The issue is the running back runs into him, but the running back sees him and avoids him because he's aware of him being there. Everybody else is within five. There is a five-yard pocket right here around the quarterback. If you don't have anybody up here to block, it's natural for you to drop back a little bit further. Here as we zoom in is he actually drops back to where the halfback is. Look at that. This is the five, this is the 20 yard line. All of his blockers are within that 20 yard line. You can literally draw a bubble right there. Only thing I can say, yeah, maybe he should have been a little bit further up. But it's the quarterback's backside that he is protecting. I can understand if it was one of these guys over here. This is the backside. He's still creating a bubble. The bubble is still there. Now they kind of collide together. Find me this happening in real football. Find me a lineman this deep on his set. Here's the pocket right here, okay? Why is the... He's saying, why is he that far back? In my opinion, I could be wrong on this one. But look at the, look at the leverage of the defensive end on the play. If, he, if this guy is beat, if the DN gets off of him, he is in perfect position to pick up that defensive end. Perfect position. The back is right here too. Now this is the bubble. He's protecting the quarterback's backside. There's no pride pressure in here. I can drop back a little bit. I personally, I honestly, guys, I don't see an issue with this play. I don't. Because if that defensive end gets loose, 61's going to be right there to pick him up. If he's up here where Ryan wants him to be, this guy gets off of him, that's going to be a sack. And then he'll be like, why didn't he drop back further? Why didn't you see this guy putting pressure on your guy? Come on, man. Deepest in the pocket is an offensive lineman that had no one to block. Now, the running back didn't either. You didn't say nothing about him. From there, you know, we have to throw out of this. It's very unconventional. Looks weird. And I do initially like some of the things that I see here. Kind of this movement. But in order to play to your base, you got to continue to nitpick. Come on. I'm the back on the catch. Maybe not the biggest fan of having no momentum and running through this tackle, but very important. You see, again, we're at this very strange angle here. We're kind of like a cheetah, if you will, in the air. But is that an animation that I saw play? Mint this dude said no momentum. He said no momentum. Maybe Look at his knee drive. Knee drive. No knee drive. Knee drive. Running through this tackle, but very important. You see again, we're at this very strange angle here. We're kind of like a cheetah, if you will, in the air. But is that an animation that I saw play? You're still gonna have some animations, guys. To me, I feel like it is because watch this defender, real time physics, right? How does he have no ability to come in here with weight, momentum, speed? And instead, he just stands up and almost knocks the defensive back. He literally pulled up. You can see right here, his shoulders are leaning forward. He pulls up because he sees his guy has the tackle. How does he have no ability to come in here with weight, momentum, speed? Look, he pulls up. And instead, he just stands up and almost knocks the defensive back off the tackle and then, I guess, throws up. I don't understand. 
Dude, you tripping. These are little things. I understand. This is very little. You reaching like crazy. Reaching like crazy. I really do. But if they continue on, they're going to be very next confused. Play. All right, next play right here, man. This is the last one he's going to talk about. We're paying attention to the um, the tackle right here, okay? What's going to happen? I'll, I'll just play it. I'll let y'all see. Frustrations because, as I said, Mike Vick gets very, very confused by this game. And it happens right here. Did y'all see what just happened? I'll rewind it so you can see in full time. And then I want you to listen to what he says. I'm going to explain it to you. This defensive end gets outside of this uh, of the tackle he beats him he's engaged with him and then he gets beat outside the tackle loses sight of him because he gets beat he turns back to go and get his block like he is supposed to do vic on the stick runs into him and he blames logic bruh let, let's play it y'all see what i'm talking about Think about some of those look at what happened no look at this play the entire way through these two right here watch because as I said, Mike Vick gets very, very confused by this game. And it happens right here. So we saw it at speed. Now we're going to go back. We're going to watch it kind of slow down. Pocket, questionable, okay? The pocket ain't questionable. It's a pocket. Everybody is on double team right here. He's got him. He's got him. 65 is getting beat outside. But I digress. We take a look closely at what happens here. Look at this. 65 got beat, guys. Vic is running up here. He could have ran here. He could have threw it. He could have ran it here. This is Vic's fault. If Vic got frustrated, it's because Vic didn't see. I guarantee you, when you play in the game, you're not watching this right here. His eyes are downfield, guys. So if Vic went back and watched this play, he wouldn't be frustrated at this lineman. Because if Vic went back and watched it, the lineman did exactly what he was supposed to do. We've got one check down option. Vic is not going to throw to that, and that's okay. He is going to scramble. Vic's known for that. Look at this. Now, by the way that he's showing it, it looks like 65 is just standing there all willy-nilly because he's showing it in slow speed. But when you go back and play it in real speed, he got beat. He turned around to find this guy. Listen to what Ryan says. He completely ignores that fact. Listen. Here is the defensive end. Here is the quarterback. Now, if you understand football, we are going to try to run away into this open area of the field as the quarterback. Michael Vick, exceptional at this. But what happens? The lineman turns around. The defender's out of this equation. He's over-pursued. But Clint here has turned back into the quarterback. All this open field, understand, just look, all that. This is what's so dumb about Ryan. what Ryan is saying right here. He's saying, because there's open field here, that the lineman, let, let's go back, because he wasn't turned around yet. He's saying because it's open field here. Look, he's drawing an arrow. He's saying because it's open field here that the lineman should just run up field. First of all, it is a pass play. Lineman cannot block downfield till the quarterback pass the line of scrimmage. Second of all, how in blue tarnation is number 65, who is the same number 65? What, what are we on? What are we on? 518. This is the same number 65 who was on kickoff return, guys, that he's complaining about not being able to block a skill guy. A offensive tackle. 519. We was at 519. He is saying that this same guy, because he sees space, should go to block upfield. You can't block upfield on a pass play. And then, too, guys, how in blue heck? Is he going to know that the quarterback is scrambling behind him? He can't see the quarterback. But because Ryan pauses it and shows it at this angle, he's saying, oh, he had no reason to turn back. He should have blocked up field because he took him out of his play. No, Ryan, because you've complained for years that linemen are oblivious to the defensive linemen. Now you actually get a play where he is aware of this defensive end. He is aware that he got beat and he's turning back to get his block because the quarterback hasn't thrown the football yet. Now you're trying to say that the lineman is wrong and the logic is flawed and Vic runs into him because he got bad stick skills. Baloney. Defensive end. Baloney. Here is the quarterback. Now, if you understand football, we are going to try to run away into this open area of the field as the quarterback. Michael Vick, exceptional at this. But what happens? 
the lineman turns around. The defender's out of the See, he's doing it in slow motion. This is a very athletic defensive end, by the way. He's showing it in slow motion. So, yeah, it looks like, oh, he's just turning around because he's lost in space. He didn't know the quarterback was there, Ryan. This equation. He's over-pursued. But Clint here has turned back into the quarterback. All this open field. Understand. Just look. All, all that open field. Yes, but he doesn't know the quarterback is running the ball behind him. What do you want them to do in the game? Have the quarterback... Only thing you can do is add a feature where the quarterback can tell the lineman, hey, go, 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 go. Because he hasn't passed the freaking line of scrimmage. Therefore, the lineman isn't going to go and block up field. The reason it happens in real life is because when Vic used to run the ball, he would yell at his lineman to go to let them know that he's running the ball instead of throwing. All that open space that you could have out at least 20, 25 yards. No, you couldn't go 20, 25 yards. Where was their initial line of scrimmage? The initial line of scrimmage was at the 31-yard line. That's right here. This is the original line of scrimmage, bro. They can't cross that line. So I'm y'all seen how Ryan explained it. I'm going to go back and play it in real time so that you can see the issue. Let's go. What play is it? 515. I'm, I'm all the way ahead. Right here. Let's play it. Watch again. Now you're going to see that he's fully aware. He gets beat. He tries to find him. And the quarterback is the one that the, the user is the one that messes up this play, not the lineman. And we're going to talk Aside about from some him of those getting frustrations beat. because, as I said, Mike Vick Watch. gets very, very look, confused gets beat, by this game. Turns around and, and look for him. Right Boom. Here. Quarterback runs into him. That is Vick's fault. So That's why Vick is frustrated. Beat. Now we're going to go back. We're going to. Bruh. If y'all are going, you're, you're going to find, are there going to be issues with the game? Yes. Are these three plays one of them? No. This is somebody who doesn't understand football. And, and I, I think Ryan's played football. I'm sorry. The reason I'm doing this video, guys, is because somebody who doesn't understand football is going to watch this video and say, oh, this game is broken. It is not. Nowhere in this film. Did I see broken logic? Maybe the only possible play would be the second one that he showed right here. Because the, 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 the guard drops back a little further than what Ryan would have liked him to. I don't think that's broken logic. He's not finding anybody. It makes no sense for him to stay put right there. Especially when he got pressure off the edge from the That's defensive what end. Here with this lineman who that doesn't make sense. This is why I'm saying something about this. It ain't beef with Ryan. Ryan, you continue to make your content. This is for the people who are watching your videos who don't understand football and they, they trust you. They believe what you say. I don't see an issue with him dropping back if there's nobody to block. I don't know. Maybe this is the only play, but the other two guys, man, no, nah, dog. I'm sorry, man. We've debunked that in this video alone. So if y'all have seen this video, and you believe this, that this is broken logic, quote unquote. It is not. You actually have line. What I see is linemen and blockers who are actually aware of their teammates picking up blocks and going to the next level. A guy that's gotten beat on a play and not just standing there. I can remember that from Madden. A guy getting beat and just standing there looking like dummy. The guy actually turns around to go find the block. He actually turns around to go find. Look, he actually, he gets beat. We've already proven from kickoff that this, this guy is slow. He is not a fast guy. We've seen that on the kickoff. He gets beat. Let me go in real time because he up here pausing it, making it look like something it ain't. He gets beat and turns around to go find him, and Vic runs into him. That is not on number 65. That is on the quarterback, a.k.a. the user. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Y'all, till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.